We met in 1980 mm -hmm. uh, while we were in college in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I was at Spelman College and Clint was at Morehouse College. That's right. The, so, house, the house. The house. The house. So, uh, yes, one October morning, uh, Shirley Chisholm was scheduled to speak at chapel at Spelman College. And uh, we met uh, that morning. Uh, right. Going to hear Shirley Chisholm speak. And just as a point of um, reminding, Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman to represent uh, in Congress, in the United States Congress. Sure. So, I was in the middle of my medical school application process when we met. We began dating, and uh, I selected Tulane. Wait a minute, to... but she didn't tell you the best part. I mean, oh, what was the best part? We were walking back from the auditorium, and it was a group of Spelman sisters walking. So I saw her, and I said, hey, what's your name, girl? <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm not sure that was the best part, but... <laughs> but she answered. She didn't it, quite answer. It wasn't posed, yeah. the question wasn't posed quite that way, okay, but well, yes. Maybe a little more eloquently at the time, but yeah. it's interesting saying thing. So, and uh, <laughs> the rest is history. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I moved to New Orleans um, that, that summer uh, of 81. Mm -hmm and uh, started med school uh, that fall. Yeah, so then she was in medical school. Uh, I was finishing up at Morehouse because I had actually transferred in, so I had an additional year. So then I came to visit her uh, while she was here. Uh, started having some gumbo and po' boys and all kind of good food and drinks. And I said, I think we might think about this New Orleans thing. So I uh, graduated from Morehouse and came down to hang out with this cute girl. So then you decided to apply. Then I applied to Tulane and they graciously let me in. <laughs> and, uh, had a great experience at Tulane, a lot of growth, a lot of support. Uh, I always like to let people know that Tulane is very, very supportive of me and a number of other students, uh, even when we had some challenges. Uh, so I will always be grateful to Tulane Law School for that. I'm still wearing my vintage 30-year-old uh, sweatshirt here, <laughs> or maybe older, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, Tulane has treated us well. Uh, we have both prospered individually and uh, collectively. Uh, we've been blessed with three wonderful kids who have all done well. And uh, Tulane will forever be special to us, uh, as will this this lady here. Mm -hmm. Look at her. I mean, she's, 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 you know, she's a smile. Doesn't sound beautiful. Smile, beautiful lady.